Hi guys, it's Lara. Thank you so much for watching and welcome back to my channel. Now, I had this idea to film a short series about seven things I love about filling blank because recently I have posted a rant about things that yank my chain and I would like to balance that video out with some positivity because that's what I'm all about. And today I would love to talk about seven things I love about fall. So if that's something you're interested in, then please keep watching. And the first thing I enjoy every single time when summer ends and fall arrives is the fact that it is getting colder. Now, don't get me wrong, I still love summer and I absolutely enjoy warm weather because there are so many great things about that. For example, I get to do my yoga outside in the yard. We can eat our dinner on the terrace because it's still warm in the evening. We can keep all of our windows open. I can wear flip-flops and shorts and summer dresses and bikini. And there is so much more to do in summer. However, I feel like the cold weather has also a certain charm. And I have a few favorite clothing pieces that I'm always happy to be able to wear again when it gets colder. There are a few skirts and pants I enjoy. I like wearing skirts with stockings and boots. And I have a few favorite jackets. For example, my biker jacket that I made a few years ago. It's made of vegan leather and it's been a lot of work, but I'm really proud of that piece. And I get always excited when it gets cold enough so that I get to wear the jacket again. And one more thing, that's probably the main reason why, why I enjoy cold weather, is the fact that Hercules gets cuddlier. <laughs> so what he does when it gets colder is sometimes he crawls underneath the blanket at night. And that's just so special to me because, because he always gets very close to me and he's so warm and snuggly and cuddly. And he has this particular smell when he's that kind of floppy and tired and sleepy, which I love so much. And he always lays so close to me that I can feel him breathing. And I feel like we have a very special connection at that moment. So these are all the reasons for me to be actually happy when it gets colder. And this is the biker jacket I spoke of. Definitely one of my favorite jackets. I think it took me like at least three afternoons to make this jacket. It's been really a lot of work, but it's been totally worth it. It's, as I said, made of vegan leather. Now it has this classical zipper on the side and the zipper can be opened both ways. And I have here two pockets also with a zipper and I put also zippers on the cuffs. And um, I made the collar bigger than the pattern was because this is something I personally find pretty. It has also a hidden pocket in there. So if you wouldn't know that there is a pocket, you wouldn't see it immediately because I use the hidden zipper. And yeah, I can put in either my phone or my passport because the inside pocket is actually pretty big. And on the back, I have a wolf and a moon, but I don't know if you can see it in this light. I hope you can. Yeah. and. That's the jacket I'm always excited to wear again every single fall. The second thing I'm always excited about is the nature show that comes with fall. And by that, I mean leaves changing colors, sun being a little bit lower. It illuminates the world a little bit differently. And I feel like the color looks a little bit like all the colors are warmer and it's just, it's just different. And the air smells differently. And I just love the way our yard looks because the vines get red and yellow leaves and there are always leaves on the lawn. I have to rake them, but it's always fun because I enjoy the smell of the dry leaves and I like going out in the woods and collecting chestnuts. You can, by the way, use chestnuts for making your own laundry detergent. If you didn't know that I have a tutorial for that on my DIY channel. So I will link it down below. So in general, I like the way the nature looks in fall. And to me, it always feels like the nature is preparing herself to go to a really long sleep. So it feels kind of romantic to me. The third thing that I'm always excited about is roasted chestnuts. It's as easy as that. I love the taste of chestnuts. They are very special to me. When I was a kid, we did not get chestnuts very often because it's been very expensive for my parents. But now I'm able to buy roasted chestnuts on the street and I can afford it. And the smell alone brings me back to my childhood and I connect the smell of chestnuts with very happy memories. 
and I absolutely love the taste. Pumpkin season, number four, also something I'm always happy about. I love cooking things with pumpkin. I'm not that jazzed about pretty much everything when it comes to pumpkin. So for example, I don't like pumpkin risotto, but I like pumpkin pie. I have a recipe on my channel for a pumpkin soup, for pumpkin porridge, for pumpkin smoothie, for pumpkin pudding and for pumpkin muffins. So I will link that all down below. And I also recently used pumpkin in mashed potatoes that I eat with bean loaf. So I will also link that video down below. And all these things just make me happy because it's a different taste. Pumpkin adds also a little bit more of this wonderful orangey color. And it's just a thing that you don't have throughout the entire year. And that's why probably it feels special and it's definitely a thing I look forward to in fall. Number five, taking a bath. That's definitely something I love doing during fall. I do not take bath every single day. I usually just shower because taking a bath takes a time and it also uses up a lot of water. But I like taking a bath at least once a week during the cold season because it helps me relax and it's just my me time. I usually use some scented products, either bath foam or bath sole or bath bombs. Now this year, the first bath I took during fall was about one and a half weeks ago and I used the bath bomb Lord of Misrules from Lush. I don't have it now here so I can show you because I used it up. Sometimes I use bath salts from Trickle Moon. So I have here these. These are currently my favorite. So I have here Warm Cinnamon Nights. This is just so wonderful. It's salt slash foam and it smells so great like cinnamon. And they also released this new series. It's called Winterberry, Winterberry Melody and it also smells so nice. So these two are just so wonderful. They also used to have this one. I still had one at home, but I'm not sure if it's still available. It's called the Dreamcatcher. I also like this scent a lot. And then I have here another brand. It's called Frühmessner. Um, it's a vegan brand and this is with ginger and mint. But honestly, I don't think I'm gonna use that now anytime soon because I feel like mint is something that cools me off. So I might wait with that till spring. So I definitely rather enjoy warm scents during fall. Anything that smells like pumpkin spice, anything that smells like cinnamon or some winter berries and stuff like that. And when I'm taking a bath, I really take my time. I usually either read a few pages of a book that I'm currently reading in the bathtub or sometimes I take my phone with me and I watch a few videos of my favorite YouTubers. So basically I'm just turning that into my me time that helps me relax and just enjoy myself. Number six, candles and fluffy socks. I enjoy this probably way too much. I love candles. I love the way they make the house look like. It just feels so comfortable and cozy. And I love the light that comes from candles. And for me personally, it balances the fact that it gets darker earlier because then I'm looking forward to getting darker because I get to light up my candles and I don't think so much about that it's dark already at like six o'clock or five o'clock sometimes. I also enjoy scented candles, but I don't like too strong scents because I feel like it gives me headache. I don't have any favorite brand yet when it comes to vegan scented candles. So if you have any recommendations, you are very welcome to write them down below. And I also like LED candles. Last year I bought a few LED candles from Ikea. Now these candles flicker, so they look pretty realistic if you put them in a tea light or somewhere in something like that. And they turn themselves off after six hours. So in case you would forget to turn them off, no worries. They're gonna turn themselves off so you won't use up the battery like all night. And fluffy socks, yeah. I just like these cozy fluffy socks because I don't like having cold feet. And last but not least, number seven, Halloween. That's definitely the event for me that I'm looking forward to every single fall. Even though I don't really go to parties, I still enjoy decorating the house in Halloween style. I absolutely love creating Halloween decor and costumes. So in case you're new here, I also have a DIY channel and I have a Halloween playlist. So I will link it down below and maybe you're gonna find there some interesting idea for you. 
And um, I said I don't go to parties, but last year I actually went to one party, but it was only next door. Now our neighbors have two boys and they invited all the kids from the entire house and they asked me if I would want to come as well. And I love their boys so much. They always come to visit me. And sometimes we do some DIYs together with the kids. So I was very happy to be able to come. And that's something I enjoyed because it was basically like at home but I don't like going to parties like in some bars because I don't like masses of people and being around people I don't know makes me always nervous and I tend to nervous blabbing which is something I hate about myself and I just like being at home I don't see anything wrong with that but like going to the neighbors is not stressful for me because I already know them and they are really nice people and it was just so much fun and we have decided to do this party this year again so this year I'm absolutely excited about it I already decorated our house for Halloween so I will also film a short video in which I will show you our Halloween decoration and I'm just happy that we're gonna do this for the kids again because the kids were so excited now in Austria trick-or-treating is not a thing but we agreed in the entire house that everyone's gonna have something small for the kids so the kids could go in the house trick-or-treating and it just made their day they were so happy they've been talking about it for weeks so I know we're gonna make them happy this year again so this is definitely something I'm very very excited about so these are the seven things I'm looking forward to in fall. You can let me know what are your favorite things during fall. Is there something very special to you? You can let me know in the comments. And I hope that you guys like this video. If that was the case, don't forget to give the video a thumb up because it really helps my channel. And you can also subscribe to my channel if you didn't yet. You can follow me on Instagram. And as usual, I will link and list down below a lot of stuff that might turn out being either helpful or interesting for you. And thank you so much for watching. I love you guys so much. And I'm looking forward to seeing you with my next video. Bye.